everyone, it's Pat from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today I have some of our favorite espresso grinders that are over $500. So we're gonna talk through our three categories and our honorable mention, like we've done with similar videos in our favorites of 2022. And so we're gonna get started with our crowd pleaser pick, which is gonna be the Barazza Vario W+. Uh, this is a really, really cool grinder. It's one of my favorites. It's probably one of the ones that I would consider for my countertop. And I think it's gonna be a great option for a wide range of different people making coffee at home. So this grinder is a Vario for starters, which means that you're gonna be able to do really great slow brew grinding methods and espresso grinding as well with it. It's got these two different macro micro selectors on the side and it has a ton of different grind settings available because of that. So you can get very fine adjust even though it's a stepped grinder and it's got such a huge range between the coarse and fine settings. So that part is great. Really high performance too, very consistent grinds. But the W in the name and the thing that's kind of the, the most crowd pleasing part of this is that it's actually got a scale underneath the catch bin that it can use to grind by weight. So you can set the weight that you want. So whether you're brewing for slow brew methods or if you're brewing for espresso, you can set the exact amount that you need and then dump it into your portafilter or into your filter for your slow brewing. So that's going to give you a ton of accuracy. You're not gonna need to waste beans and you're not gonna have to waste time dialing in timers with it. It's just gonna be able to do it all via weight. It's also got nice little features like the lighting that it has inside. I'm a big fan of that, so you can watch as it grinds. It's got the Baratza kind of classic turn key on the back that you can use to unlock and lock the hopper to remove the hopper, which is gonna give you access to the burrs, which is super easy to maintain and clean that way. And it's just also super solidly constructed, which is something you would expect from Baratza. And this grinder exemplifies that more than ever. I'm really, really impressed with how solid everything feels and how premium the whole thing feels. And I actually think it's a really great price point and really good value for what this grinder offers, even though it is in this over $500 category. So huge recommend, gonna be great for a wide variety of users for a wide variety of brew methods and really convenient. Next up, we have our top features pick, which is gonna be the Eureka Minion Oro XL. So this is a really interesting grinder because it combines aspects of Eureka's Atom line, which we'll talk about in a minute here, and the Minion line, which is uh, the form factor that you see here. So it's gonna have the kind of quiet running and super high performance of the Atom line, but it's fit down into this smaller package and it's going to give you that sort of Minion experience to use it. So you get a little bit of programmability here and you're going to get this like super solid construction that Eureka always has for its grinders. But the big difference that it's gonna have from other Minion grinders is it's got those 65 millimeter burrs. So they're gonna lead to better grind speed and better grind consistency because they have more surface area than what you'll see on other grinders in this class. So this grinder really does sort of kind of hit that sweet spot between the larger and slightly more expensive Atom grinders, and it doesn't really sacrifice too much performance to get down into that more minion-like case footprint and user experience. However, we've also got an Atom right here. We've got the Atom 75. This is going to be our top ultimate pick of these different grinders. So this grinder is a really interesting model because it is the kind of thing that you could use as a high-end user at home, and it also has its place in more commercial settings as well. So this grinder is going to be super high quality. It's got those 75 millimeter burrs, which are even bigger than what Oro XL has. So you're gonna get super fast grinding, incredibly consistent. You're gonna get your time programming down here as well. You're gonna have multiple different programming options for single, double, whatever your dosing is gonna be. You've got that really nice stage lighting, and then you just, overall, you have the Atom construction which is just best in class. I mean, it's second to none. The quality level of these grinders, the degree to which they're engineered and constructed, and you're gonna get many, many years of use out of a grinder like this. So you can get different hopper options as well. Comes with the short hopper, which is probably gonna be perfect for most home users, but there are other hopper options available, and it's going to be able to run a super high speed and very quiet as well. So. This really is the ultimate pick if you just wanna get the absolute best espresso grinder that you can for your countertop. Right now, we would recommend the Atom 75 from Eureka. Finally, we have our kind of quirky honorable mention here. So it's a trend recently, and there's a reason for it, for uh, these kind of tilted forward grinders. And the reason for it is to reduce retention so that there's no grounds that get kind of caught in the grind chute. 
All of these grinders at these price points are gonna be pretty good on that front, but this tilt forward on um, this grinder actually gives the grounds a little bit of extra help. And should say, this is the Eureka Minion Single Dose. So this grinder is designed for you to put in just one dose of espresso, and then you run it, run all of it through, and it's gonna come out in this nice fancy little cup, and then you'll transfer it to your portafilter from there. So this is definitely an, kind of an odd grinder, but single dosing is becoming more popular for espresso, which is where you're gonna measure just the beans that you need rather than keep them in a hopper like this. And it brings all of the sort of Eureka Minion features like the stepless adjust and the super solid construction together with just some fun furniture. I mean, the, the, the sort of wooden piece down here, the little cup, it's really fun to use and it's gonna give you really great grind consistency. So you get kind of the fun aspects of it along with the really high performance and that single dosing format is exactly what some people want. So if that sounds like you, and if you're looking for a single dose espresso grinder, this is definitely our pick in that category and that's why it gets its honorable mention here in this video. So we hope that this video has been informative for you and it's helped you maybe pick out a grinder this holiday for either a gift or for yourself. These are all really great grinders, really great options, and uh, we love them all and think that they're all gonna be the perfect option for somebody. So. If you liked this video and if you wanna get more videos that have these sorts of comparisons and reviews and educational content, get on our email newsletter list. We've got a link below. It's going to get these videos into your inbox and you're also gonna find out about all of our sales and deals as soon as they're happening, which is a great way to make sure that you jump on them and get them as soon as possible. If you did like the video, hit that like button, drop us a comment if you have any questions and get subscribed for all of our video content around our favorites of 2022. Thanks. Okay.